Welcome back to Wolfenstein, The New Order. Let's get some magical Jewish underwater technology. Sophia is a very, very good place. Powerful. Well, that's magnetic research. That's... Right. Mate. Oh, wow! Huh? Is this real? Oh, yes. What is that? This is the secret vault out there. Now, first, we need to activate the magnetic fields and create an entryway. Uh, this machine here, it controls the electromagnetic fields. Yes. Mm. Okay, are you ready, Ingele? One, two, three, go! This is the Asiyuchot prism to make your laser beam attuned to the proper frequency. And you should be able to charge the magnetic coils. You see them? It's, it's up there. I will work to get this thing going. How is it possible? This is an ancient place. Uh, one of many. It it built like this. So wait, do I like shoot these? Ah. I can, I can charge from these. Oh, they do eventually go back after a while. That's weird. It's weird because they retract as if they've like run out of charge and yet they can also recharge you with more energy than you put into the system. Before that, we got a diary to listen to. September 13th, 1941. A letter arrived from London today. I have procured a vial of pennyroyal oil. I have stolen some antibiotics from mother. I won't be coming to work tomorrow. September 14th, 1941. Pain unbearable. Won't stop bleeding. Sethroth is not a genius. Gentlemen, this is it. Go ahead, look around. Anything that is useful to you, you may take. Just remember, you are in a sacred space. Oh, I got you. Caroline, no, come in, Caroline. You made it. Let's pillage the sacred place. Roger. I'm sufficiently impressed. I have no idea what these do. There must be some order to do them in, right?
they're all different objects. This one might be like the final one, or maybe it's the one that gets unlocked. Because I think that's the only one that doesn't have something to press, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, he says E to exit level, so this starts like the end cutscene. So this is some bonus thing. Um, hmm. I probably have to find the right order to do it, and there could be some symbols around, or I could be like constructing an object, maybe? Like, what do we have here? We got this thing. It looks like a shell, like it can hold stuff. It looks like maybe you'd go inside of it or something. Eh, don't know about these. Like, this, for example, looks like it would maybe go inside of this. Let's try this one and then the other one. Ooh! So that is the first one. Oh, there's symbols up here about it. Yeah, so the one that you want to start with is the one at the top. So then after that, maybe I just do the two ones on the next level? So... This is one of them. Maybe it's left to right, so like this one, and then that one, and then that one, and then that one, and then that one. Okay, that must be it. So the person who I watched play through this game never did this, so I have no idea what this is. Is this like an upgrade or something? Portable reactor? What is that? Slowly recharges the battery without having to connect to a power station. Ooh! Oh, that is great. Let's see how fast it recharges, though. Not bad. Especially if it recharges while you're not using it. Nice. That's gonna be real handy. I saw you picked up some kind of strange ore. I think it'll fit in this here slot right here. Come in. Come in. I read you, Caroline. They have a lead on those decryption keys for the nuclear cannon. Anya, it's a troop transport train recalled from the African front. On board is the chief research scientist for Death's Head's latest generation super soldat program. He's leaving for the Nazi lunar base tonight to oversee the launch of the new super soldat. The intercepts the troop transport train, locates the chief research scientist, steal his identity, and use it to permit Blaskovich to take his seat on the lunar shuttle. Once you're at the lunar base, you need to find the nuclear decryption keys and bring them back to Earth. Hey, when you say intercept the high-speed Nazi troop transport train, how do we do that? Best side will be the Gibraltar Bridge. Geez, and how do we stop the train? Set, any ideas? We can use this one. This is very, very powerful. Where, in, in English, you couldn't call it I mean, how's the spindly talk? You you drop this in front of the train, this this will stop anything. Excellent. Leave right away. That the train is en route. Wow. You may want this for yourself, Captain Blaskowitz, but I'm planning on keeping it. You give that to Caroline. Nazis built this bridge three years ago. Straight shot to the African front. They're just devouring Africa like they did everywhere else. The train should be arriving at the bridge any moment now. It's go time, Cap! Ready up! Now! Arm the weapon and launch it! Here comes the train! <laughs> Death Head's chief research scientist should be inside. 
I'll drop you off up ahead because I see a safe spot. Get through all that wreckage on the bridge and reach the nautical wagon. All right, Captain. You can jump out now. Doing good, Cap. I'll keep scouting for a place to drop you off close to the nautical railway wagon. Ooh. I don't think I'll find one. Too much debris and ticked off nonsense. Keep doing your thing on foot. William, in accordance with protocol, Death's Hat's chief research scientist will be wearing an all-white uniform. All right, Laskovich, find the Nazi with a white uniform and steal his identification papers. That's your ticket to the lunar base. He will be in one of the train cars there. Ramona writes, September 20th, 1941. Still alive. The Nazi baby is gone. After the weekend, I go back to work. I have patients to tend to. I have Nazis to kill. Rocket launcher. It's for taking out enemies in groups or heavily armored units. Oh, so I guess it gets. No, it was only the old weapon. It was it was the old assault rifle that allowed you to switch between single shot and auto fire, or or burst and auto fire or something like that. I think that was gone with this new one. So this uh, rocket launcher doesn't replace the single shot. It just adds a second mode to this newer assault rifle. I think. Not that I would care if it did replace it, I never used single fire. It's easier just to single fire myself rather than switch to a separate mode for it. Model unlock a rocket trooper, I guess that's who just shot the rockets. Questions from where? Stupid way to die. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Uh, by the way, one of the perks I want to focus on is this one. Um, so I need nine more handgun kills, and then a bunch more marksman kills. I don't have a marksman rifle, but I do want to get more handgun kills, because this increases weapon reload speed for, I think, everything. Which would be pretty handy. Ooh, I also need this. Increases ammunition storage for all standard weapons. That'd be very good. I just need more dual wield kills. Okay, so handgun and dual wield kills. Well, I could just dual wield pistols, right? Get both at the same time. Sorry. Not sorry. Oh, jeez. The fuck? Oh. That's a turret thing. Oh, hello. probably about the worst place to try to get handgun kills because it's going to be such an inappropriate weapon for I think everything I'm going to face here hello puppy oh I bet there's a secret over here Wait, is this where I came from? Over there's where I came from, isn't it? I guess it's just a shortcut? Yeah, 
January 5th, 1942. The Nazi appears to have poor reaction time. I learned this as I ran him over at the red light. I don't know what came over me. It was the middle of the day and people were looking. I drove away as fast as I could. I have to reduce the rate of my attacks or they will catch me. I don't know why I'm sad that it died. This thing, unlike the other dogs, was never a, a like a real dog. It's always been a mecha dog, but still. Dog's a dog. July 9th, 1943. The Nazi appears to be made of bacon. I learned this as nine of them burned alive inside a late-night establishment. A lot can be accomplished with padlocks and gasoline. Father could smell the gasoline on my coat. I lied to him. He mustn't know what I have done. He's too sensitive. Oh, we got a big one over there. I had a marksman rifle right now. Feels like this section was made for it.
July 4th, 1944. The Nazi is a hopeless romantic. I learned this while smashing his skull using the hammer I had hid behind my back as he knelt to pick up my fallen glove. If I was a boy, father would have taught me how to handle a rifle. But instead I was trained to nurse the afflicted dig dirt for relics and write papers. I wish I knew a soldier. He could teach me how not to feel remorse. He would understand me. Well, I think Anya finally got what she wanted in Blaskowitz. Tesla. When upgraded to a Tesla unit, this unit alters the beam's frequency to affect any mechanical targets close to its path. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Close to its path. What does that mean? Are we talking about stunning them? Or does it do damage if an enemy, a mechanical enemy, is close to the path of the beam? Like if you're shooting into a crowd of mechanical units? I don't know. Puppy! It could totally fit through there. I don't have to kill it, do I? You can stay there, buddy. I wonder if they have any sort of artificial intelligence. They're definitely a mixture of mechanical and biological? Wait a minute, this one's different from the others. It, I don't think it is biological, is it? No, I don't think this one is biological at all. But yeah, this is different from the the other puppies, the other small ones. But I was just thinking, like, if they're powered by AI, which this one certainly seems like it must be if it doesn't have any biological part to it, then you could just reprogram them to be good boys, couldn't you? From here, those Nazis all look like ants on an anthill, and you're like this big poke. There's some stuff up there, but oh well. I want to go for more handgun kills right now? Sure. Ooh, grenade patch plus. Extra grenade that I can hold, I think. All right, I gotta get closer if I want to be able to use my pistols against these enemies, which I do. It's not like I need to use... Like, I can use my pistol against enemies later, right? It's not like I have to do it now. But who cares? I'm gonna do it now. Or maybe not. works from a decent range, actually. Heads up! Ahead of you is a Nazi checkpoint building. Looks fortified. Oh boy, there's a big gun.
Someone's shooting me from over here, right? Mostly caught up to where I was before. Uh, yeah, let's forget the pistol thing for now. This is a pretty hard section, and I'm extremely low on health. Uh, I'm gonna run for that. I think that's a medkit right there under the bridge. Heads up! Ahead of you is a Nazi checkpoint building. Looks fortified. And oh boy, there's a big gun. Take it nice and slow. Maybe I can use the pistols now. Jesus! Let's get some distance. Screw this. Waste of ammo, but oh well. Not coming. I know I have a perk that I need to get indirect kills with that for.
Hey, Cap. Hold stand by. Yeah, yeah, hey, I found a spot where I can drop you off, closer to the nautical wagon. Proceed down through the checkpoint interior and meet me outside on the walkway underneath the bridge. Looks like I can be a little bit stealthy here. If no one else notices the body. I've only got three shots of this left. Uh, I don't think I can take them out with one hit. <laughs> they didn't even notice that I shot him in the head. Oh, it's like somebody throwing a, a pebble at them. Hmm. I guess I'll throw a couple of grenades. Did I just get a marksman? Or just marksman ammo? I guess just ammo. I think we gotta jump over. Or just go down? September 23rd, 1946. A man came in today. Horrible head trauma. He has scars all over him. He won't speak. No one knows where he's from. I think he's a soldier, but not a Nazi. I wish he could talk to me. He has a strength about him. What scared the shit out of me? I thought I totally missed it. Thanks, what? to most was my wrestling coach, Coach Anderson. You remind me of him. All these years keeping the resistance going with Caroline, a lot of times I ask myself, what would Captain Blaskowitz do? What would Captain Blaskowitz do? Still do. All right, I'll drop you off here. I'm not quite sure what happened there. It kind of felt like I was getting pushed backwards. But maybe I just kind of fell off the main part and bounced off some of the support beams of the helicopter. Just a little bit farther now. The nautical wagon is straight ahead of you, dangling below the edge. All you gotta do is jump inside, find Death's Head's chief research scientist, and steal his identity papers. The man should be wearing a white uniform. 
Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. I'm pretty sure that's a checkpoint right there. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to get those credentials and go to the moon.